I'm Jeremy Dreyer for the Electric Power Research Institute. Mention electric transportation, and most people think of electric vehicles, like this extended range EV, the Chevy Volt. But now it's time to take your thinking off-road. EPRI's non-road electric transportation research program is investigating a wide range of technologies and at the same time is discovering an equally wide range of challenges and opportunities. We ask how all of our account managers working with customers whenever they see anything being lifted or pushed or carried and whether it's products or people then think twice about well, how is it being powered. The port of Savannah, Georgia and other major ports are electrifying the transport and storage of freight in a big way. EPRI's non-road electric transportation program and local utilities are working together to better understand the costs and benefits and to transfer the technology to other locations and industries. The benefit has been tremendous. We've been able to eliminate over four million gallons of diesel fuel consumption. For what we pay about 5000 per month per crane in electricity, at today's diesel cost would cost us almost thirty-five dollars to $40,000 per month per crane. When the cranes are operating with, on diesel engines, even if they're not doing any work, the diesel engine is running and you're burning fuel. When they're on electric power, the only time you're consuming energy is when they're doing work. Thanks to electric power, the Port of Savannah Garden City Terminal has significantly reduced its maintenance costs and equipment downtime. And fortunately, it also had a great environmental impact. No diesel, no emissions. For refrigerated freight, ports rely on refrigerated storage containers or reefer racks. When the port converted its first set of reefer racks from diesel to electricity, it saved about 600,000 gallons of diesel. Stacking containers also saved space. My interest is electricity and their interest is productivity, but uh, we, we come up with uh, mutually beneficial solutions. Airlines electrifying non-road transport increasingly rely on vehicles such as electric bag tugs, belt loaders, and pushback tractors. Southwest Airlines has long collaborated with EPRI in this area of research. I was a little skeptical in the beginning, you know, change, but uh, they, the product has done excellent. They have good torque, you know, and, and they pull um, four full carts of bags, which is what we do, you know, with no problem with ease. And they're just great. They, they stop well, they handle well, uh, they turn on a dime. When planes park at the gate, they need electricity to power onboard equipment and to air condition the cabin. In many airports, Southwest now taps the grid for this instead of using a diesel generator or the plane's jet-fueled auxiliary power unit, or APU. For one plane, the airline saves about 34 to 42 gallons of fuel each hour. So it's a tremendous savings on it, and, and we're saving 50, 60 million dollars a year in fuel burn alone on minutes that that APU would have been running. From airports and ports to warehouses and factories, non-road electric vehicles deliver clean, quiet, vibration-free performance. Electric forklifts also have other benefits. An electric truck, uh, the way they're configured, uh, so it can turn better in an aisle, smaller aisles than an IC truck, and uh, the customer can then be more efficient with their space. A car on the road will produce approximately 15,000 uh, the carbon footprint, pounds of carbon dioxide in a year. An internal combustion forklift produces 35,000 pounds of carbon dioxide in a year. So when we convert a forklift from internal combustion to electric, it's a significant impact. Electrifying truck stops is another EPRI non-road focus. Program advisors recently inspected a new technology at a truck stop in Oregon where drivers can shut down their diesels and tap the grid to power their sleeper cab during rest stops. This box will save a truck driver about $4,000 a year on average. Um, at today's fuel prices, that's somebody, you know, that was going from idling to now plugging in. Uh, the ROI is, is fairly quick. Even if they spent $2,000 to upgrade their system, payback is going to be within six months. Other emerging non-road markets are mining and rail yards. Rail yards located in population centers need to cut their diesel particulate emissions. Electric switcher locomotives could provide an answer. 
The economic analysis can be favorable. It depends on some of the assumptions related to the capital cost for the electric locomotive. Also has to do with fuel prices. To facilitate the adoption of these and other new technologies, EPRI's non-road electric transportation program conducts collaborative research and demonstration projects and brings together industry and utility partners. And through our partnership with EPRI, we're able to bring uh, third-party information that's, that's both predictable and measurable, um, trustworthy as an outside source to further educate end users and uh, forklift owners. For electric utilities, non-road electric transportation is low-hanging fruit. Important drivers can include more efficient use of energy, economic development, load management, and improved customer relationships. Regardless of the objectives, working collaboratively with EPRI can help a utility implement a non-road program and they can begin to reap the benefits immediately. The ability for us to focus on the, the new technology of, of on-road vehicles is actually being driven by our success in the non-road program. If a utility in our, of our size can make money doing this, then if you're a vertically integrated utility, then the sky's the limit. I would say to anyone considering uh, non-road electric transportation, it's a natural. It's, it's a must. It's, it's a requirement for your growth and opportunities. EPRI's non-road electric transportation research program is a collaboration of utilities, vendors, regulatory agencies, researchers, and laboratories. Electricity providers that want to better understand the potential for growth and benefits from non-road electric transportation can contact EPRI project manager Andra Rogers.